Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a long-term play for you. In fact, it seems almost too good to be true. But I'm going to show you the numbers here and you are going to understand why Shema invested, you know, 250 million into this company. Let's jump right in. Wait, before we jump right in, on this channel, I talk about stocks and cryptocurrencies. And, um, you know, if you are interested in any of those, you know, do me a favor, subscribe, hit the notification button, and, you know, I'll get more stuff coming. I try to find undervalued stocks and bring them out before they become very, very popular. And that way you get a front seat. And uh, also, I'm not a financial advisor. So everything I say here is just my point of view. And you go do your own due diligence and make a decision based on your own personal research. All right. I'm also going to leave a link to my Discord down below. It's free. We just talk about stocks and cryptocurrencies so if you, you want to join it go ahead and let's jump right in so sunlight financial sunlight financial it's a private company that recently went public through a SPAC okay so very quickly for those who don't know what a SPAC is a SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company with no commercial operations that is formed strictly to raise capital through an IPO for the purpose of acquiring an existing company okay uh, also known as a blank a blank check company or a shell company. Uh, now, you know, SPACs have been around for a while. And uh, the reason why companies go with SPACs is that when you are a private company with, you know, cumbersome commercial operations and you want to go public, it could take months to get all your paperwork through, okay? It could even take longer than that if your your auditors and accountants and stuff are slow and um but but if you if you create a if you form a spac right the the spac uh, is just a, a new company with no operations almost little to no paperwork so it takes just a few weeks and then you're public and then you can start raising the funds that you need you know uh to continue the growth of your company. So that's that's why companies go with a SPAC. So the end goal of a SPAC is to acquire the the private company. And you know, with acquisition may come a ticker change, name change, and all that. Now, this SPAC is expected to uh, complete, like the acquisition of, of, of Sunlight Financial should be done by the end of quarter two this year okay so i i believe there's going to be a, another big boost and popularity come that time so when you are you know in it before all that you know you get you get all the the benefits of being an early bird pretty much all right so now that we're done with the spac talk uh, let's get to the interesting stuff sunlight financial what do they do okay so this is what they say they do on their website. They partner with solar companies and home improvement contractors to secure financing for solar systems and home improvement projects. The loans that they make are available are, are homeowner friendly and uh, what with simple approval process. They have the software that they use. Uh, I think it's Orange. Uh, if I'm wrong, co correct me in the comments below, guys. I need, I need to get this video out because I got to go somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um... With no no money out of pocket, okay, your your home is solar. You are hundred percent solar, and even in some cases, uh, you make so much, you generate so much energy, you actually sell some of your energy back to the grid, okay. Um, so I'm gonna give you five reasons why I believe this company is a great buy for this year, and why this company will be one of your best investments. Reason number one. Reason number one, the company is currently profitable. So I'm going to leave a link to the uh, investor uh, presentation that was on their website. The money they generated from the SPAC, they generated $595 million And they only uh, put $50 million back on the balance sheet in the company. The rest pretty much went into the early investors of the company. And that shows that the company doesn't need the money the company is profitable and they have they've shown it 
with all the paperwork they prevent they, they've presented so far now as a private company they are not obligated to release their finances and stuff so all we have to go on right now is the presentation they are giving us and their reputation reason number one the very first reason here is the ceo matt potere or matt potere i think i might mess up the name but i'm gonna go with potere because it's, it's, it sounds a little italian matt is very experienced in this field okay uh he was the senior vice president of bank of america okay and he was responsible for 90 billion dollars in home uh the bank's home equity portfolio the experience that matt brings to the table is enormous and that should not be taken very lightly at all if you listen to some of his interviews uh you would see where he wants to take this company and it's it's very 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 promising all right so uh let's check out something uh the reason number two is the steady growth okay check this out guys now this is the growth of the company as in the number of contractors that are on board with them and some of the contractors tesla is one of the contractors providing some of these solar panels okay so this company is is kind of like standing at the sweet spot they're standing in the sweet spot of enjoying the benefits of the booming renewable energy sector at the same time uh the booming uh, finance sector buy now pay later sector so uh they they are in a very good position for the long term and if you look here from 2017 to 2020 they are uh the contractors just keeps increasing okay and if you if you look here even covid did a little bit of a dent in 2020 but then by the end of 2020 to 2021 it picked up and picked up even um even more way more than before and it's expected to keep growing okay now check this out this is their expenses the expenses of the company have been decreasing every year and the best part about it is that their uh, revenue has been increasing every year and they expected these are projections so they have real data from 2017 to 2020 uh they have real data from 2017 to 2020 and then based on the real data these are their pro projections and it just looks like is is a company that could grow solidly smoothly and will be aided by the current democratic administration the support of renewable energy companies is going to give it more of a boost than probably even this graph indicates so um that is just i don't know some sometimes some of these things uh, uh i want to see the actual filings the actual financial filings not a presentation from the company because they can make it look a little better than it's it's it actually is but they really have no reason to and once they they get acquired by the end of quarter two they would have to release all these uh, uh all, all, all this information so i think what happened was uh i mixed up the reasons uh you know the numbers i just pretty much jammed them all in it's supposed to be um an already profitable company uh two a company that has steady growth uh three um uh, they are going with the, the tailwind of the whole renewable energy slash Biden slash um, the Democratic uh, Party and, and how they are going to probably have all these tax cuts and stuff for companies that are involved with renewable energy. Uh, for the CEO, we already spoke about that. And uh, five, it's in the best of both worlds. It's actually a good... Uh, finance company by itself okay and coupled with the fact that they are involved in renewable energy just makes them a great company okay a ticker symbol right now is sprq that is a ticker symbol right now for this company sprq and as i'm talking to you right now it is trading um it closed yesterday at twelve dollars and two cents 
um, yesterday being February 23rd and I'm making this video on the 24th and um, it seems to be doing much better in the pre-market anyway so uh, this is a long-term play this is not a play that you should be looking at every day uh, based on their projections in fact it th I think it looks it looks really good and uh, that's just my opinion. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please, please, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.